So if you were to see 10 to the power of negative 1, what the person is trying to tell you is that it's 1 divided by 10. Okay? If it's 10 to the power of negative 2, it is 1 divided by 10 times 10. In other words, when you see a negative and you see the number getting bigger and bigger, it means that this thing is small. It's smaller and smaller. It's smaller. Yes, Papa. My brain. Okay, yes. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Okay. So they are okay. You don't even have. Okay. So if you look at that ranking, it is really small. The last thing on the bottom. On the red top, it is really, really big. Why? Okay, we're going to start. We're going to have a look at this to have an idea of how big and small things really are. Hey, what's he doing? Okay, that is around 100 meters. Okay, that is around 100 meters. Oh, wow. That's about 1 km. I like this video because it gives you an idea of the scale. When we say 100,000 kilometers, we say 10,000 km around the Earth. Now we start to zoom out to our own system. Wait, the moon does that? Notice that Earth is actually quite far away from the next planet. Okay, we're not even out of our solar system yet. Okay, oh, You're not even out of our galaxy. How? That's just the sun. The sun is tiny. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah, we're already. We're already. See the units we're using now? Light years. Yeah, like C. I lost my own. Now draw the moment. Oh, wait. That this DC, right? The next part is going to get it very busy. Because some atoms are... Of course, it needs a lot of energy to break atoms. Wait, what? 
because the reading is somewhere between 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 1. So they cannot quite register the 1, so they put it at 0. That means it is off by a tiny little bit.
You look very annoyed, right? Yeah. Of course, in a cinema, you cannot say, you cannot stand up and say, excuse me, everyone. That one's even worse. Right? But in a classroom setting, when someone is presenting, it's not a very polite thing to do. Okay? In fact, I teach you up. Uh, you go to cinema, you go to concert, you go to a lecture, and you cannot even say, sorry, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, but you know that there's a chance you need to leave. What can you do? You sit near the edges. That's what I see some people do. Because you sit near the edge, right? You don't have to disrupt a lot of people. Okay, so this is all courtesy. Okay, temperature is the next thing that we you will eventually learn to measure. But have you used a the thermometer in school before? Okay. Yeah. Okay, this is this very first school. All of you are used very, very often. Every day of the past many years. However, we do not use this to measure the temperature of liquids. I use yeah? this to measure my water bottle. Samuel, yeah?
this is what they're trying to show you is the conversion. Okay? They're not saying 0 equals to this number. They're telling you if you want to convert 0 Kelvin to Celsius, this is how much you need to add for minus 5. Okay. Ah, there's no multiplication or division. It is how much more you add or subtract when you convert between the units.
one of the values. Okay, you put what is closer can. Unless it is right in the middle, you cannot say it is 0.5. Cut it, sorry. Uh, zero and oh, okay, that's interesting. No one has asked me this question before, so I need to take a spot. Could you have a zero error for the monitor? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, class. 